It helps regulate things like hydration, electrolyte balance, and even nervous system function. It's also critical for heart health, brain function, and even plays a role in reducing inflammation. It's the engine oil of your biology. Without it, everything starts to grind. Then there's proline. This helps hold your skin, joints, and connective tissue together. If collagen is the bricks, proline is the mortar. No proline? Say goodbye to skin elasticity and happy knees. It helps you heal faster, keeps your cartilage from throwing in the towel, and even pitches in with cellular energy when you're stressed out. Basically, it's the quiet hero behind the scenes, at least until this study flipped the script. It turns out when they gave taurine and proline to mice that already had lung tumors, tumor growth took off. Even at low dosages, 25 milligrams per kilogram of body weight significantly increased tumor growth. And this wasn't just some shady backroom trial with five mice and a hunch. They ran full metabolomic and transcriptomic analysis. Basically, they looked at chemical levels and gene expression. Real data, real science. Now here's where it gets real interesting. In the mice given taurine and proline, one gene in particular kept getting shut down. The gene is called AZGP1. Think of AZGP1 as the bouncer at a club. Keep it around and everything stays cool. Kick it out, chaos. AZGP1 helps control fat metabolism and keeps other things in check like mTOR. And mTOR, that's the switch for cellular growth. When AZGP1 gets switched off, mTOR kicks into high gear. And in tumor cells, that's like handing them the keys to a sports car and telling them there's no speed limit. 